Good evening, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my beautiful ride share revolutionaries. It's me, Geo. Y'all know the fuck it is. Uh, all right, I want to knock this one out ASAP. Um, I'll talk about I'm a, only a couple of things uh, I think want, I should mention. Uh, the first thing with the colitis, uh, a lot of you have been leaving comments talking about like how I can potentially improve my situation with my colitis. Guys, I've had colitis for, I've been diagnosed with colitis since I was 13, or, not, sorry, that came out wrong, since I was 21. So for 13 years, I've, I've been diagnosed with colitis. Um, there's a couple things that, like, I'll learn here and there, uh, what these brake lights looks like I'm the devil. There's a couple things I learn here and there, but for the most part, I, I know how to deal with the sickness the best I can. I just, and like I said, luckily I am, I'm one of the lucky ones where I have mild UC. Like I, as long, like for me, I found out as long as I control my diet, I stay in remission and I do cheat a little bit. You guys notice I do drink any drinks. I do drink alcohol. Um, pretty much everything else that you're not supposed to partake in I don't do, you know, like I don't do, uh, I, I don't do wheats, and I don't do uh, oats and grains, I don't, I can't chew gum, for example, there's a, there's a sugar, there's an additive in chewing gum called sorbitol, that messes with my colon, um, I, I, like I stick to a pretty bland diet, like a lot of my friends always gotta give me shit about my diet, because I kind of have to, right, um, so I appreciate the concern, but I want you guys to know I'm pretty well informed about my own sickness. Um, but I do appreciate the concern, guys. Uh, another thing I want to say... I thought, I thought I had one more thing to say about the colitis. Oh, yeah. So last week, I took off Sunday, and then Monday... I mean, I can show you guys a screenshot in another video if you want. I slept... According to my Fitbit, I slept for 16 hours on Monday. Um... Every once in a while, I, I guess I've mentioned before on my channel, I do have like a crash day where I just pass out for, you know, a, you know, like on a Wednesday morning, I'll just sleep in, I'll fall asleep at like 11 p.m. and I'll just sleep till 10 or 11. It'll be a long day. I have one of those every two or three weeks. May not be directly related to my colitis, but I just, you guys know I work a lot. So yeah, but on Monday, that's extreme. So I should have really recognized that I was, I was, in a flare-up on Monday. That should have been the day that I, I call, I should have made an appointment to see a gastroenterologist. Because that's a lot of rest, even for a person like me who does occasionally take a long day of rest. Um, so on that aspect, I did kind of ignore a major symptom. Now in terms of joint pain and all that stuff, I on a, the reason my joints are so bad is, and I talked to the doctor about this on Friday, he asked how my joints were, and I said they're always in pain. And then we talked, and then he he said, "Well, you know, joint pains usually it can be directly related to colitis." And I said, "Yeah, I'm aware of that." But I said I was also doing some very heavy training in my 20s with with MMA and all that, you know, doing jujitsu and kickboxing and all that stuff. I mean, it's it takes a toll on your joints. And I take I take some supplements that do help with uh, inflammation, but they don't cure inflammation, right? I've even done like, um, what's that, what's that, uh, cortisone shots? Barely helped. Barely. So, I think the only thing that could really help with my joint pain would be surgery, which I'm not gonna do. I mean, it sucks I can't even play with my fucking crazy ass nephew without my joints hurting, but, um, I spent way too much time on this one. Uh, the second thing I want to talk about is something that came up in my live stream last night, talking about goals. I do think every single one of us and like let's look past right here right monetarily you gotta have goals guys you gotta have something like i want to make this much money per year i want to make this much money every six months you know you need a goal with your money but you also have to have you also have to ask yourself how much money you want to make now for me personally in ride share my number is 1750 that's the number i really want to hit right? If that means hitting 250 every weekday and 
400 something, you know, like obviously 1750, let's I would I'm happy making more, but that's the amount of money I I know I want and need to make to live the life I want to live comfortably. And that's, you know, to pay my bills, you know, to set up everything I want for the future, to live, work and retire in style, 1750 is my number. And I do think those of us out here who do drive and have a goal, those are the ones that do it better. Those are the ones that really, they're, they're, they're examining their approach more closely than the rest. And when you're, when you're examining what you're doing, that's when you do it better. When you're analyzing, examining, and breaking down. And that's, that's when, you, when you know there's room for improvement here. When there's room for improvement there. How do I, how do I eat less dead miles? How do I make sure I capitalize on surge this time? How do I make sure I'm waking up on time? All kinds of stuff, right? Like, I think those of us in this game who set a goal and then choose to improve on how, how quickly we achieve that goal are the ones that do it better. So I do think for experiment, for those of you watching out there, try if you're not already doing it, Set a goal. I know this, obviously, it's not as easy for those of us who don't drive in the major markets like Chicago, San Francisco, L.A., uh, Boston, all those. I know it's a challenge for a lot of you to make money in non-major markets. I'm well aware of that. But those of us in major market, like those of you who are in major markets or whatever, just be like, I want to make 1200 bucks this week. Set, 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 set a certain bar, and, and if you do it, at the let's say you you hit that number you hit twelve hundred dollars. At the end of the week you'd be like, oh, okay, I hit twelve hundred bucks. Now how can I do it quicker? How can I do it by driving less miles? How can I do it by by spending less on gas? How do I how do I improve on this? And if you didn't hit that number, ask yourself how you can, right? What what improvements can you make to help you achieve that goal? And sometimes, unfortunately, that goal is unobtainable. So at least you know, you have a baseline. You know, like, okay, I, I can make $1,200 in a week, but it's going to break me. It's going to kill me. It's going to require 85 hours in the car, and I, I'm not willing to do that. Like the Florida markets. Those markets are horrible. You're going to be killing yourself trying to make that much money. Um, but I do think if you just kind of focus, set a goal, You'll see positive, positive, uh, positive results. Uh, the last thing I want to get into is I'm going to start doing a little fitness challenge for myself. Um, I was just thinking about it because I was thinking about, I was all set a couple weeks ago. Joe Rogan on a podcast was talking about a Snickers only diet, right? And I was actually going to do it. I was, I was, I wanted to, and then everything kind of happened with my tooth and all that stuff. So I decided, no, I'm not going to have a Snickers only diet. But what I'm going to do now is uh, I've decided I'm going to do like a little personal fitness challenge. I want to do 300 push-ups every day for 30 days, right? And I'm going to kind of log how it, you know, obviously I, I make a video almost every day. So kind of do like a vlog of how I'm feeling, how it is, how, how much it sucks in the first week, how much easier it gets, stuff like that. Um... I just think it'd be fun. It's just something kind of fun and silly. Personal fitness challenge. Uh, I talked to uh, Bam at No Limitation Roger. He said he's going to do it, but he's probably not because he's kind of lazy. So uh, just something I, I, I'm going to do. It's not even for the channel. Just something fun for me. But I'm obviously going to share on the channel. So that's all I got for this one. Uh, obviously just going over everything going on with my colon. Um, setting goals. The importance of setting goals. And just a fun fitness challenge. So, yeah, this was a very long video. <laughs> I don't know how, I don't know why you guys sit through these long videos like this. Um, but, yeah, that's all I got, guys. Um, oh, yeah, this is not my Infinity. This is my Terrain. Um, I'm getting my, my key fob replaced tomorrow. I had to call some locksmiths, so they're going to take care of it. That's going to cost me three hundred dollars 
No help from Lyft. I contacted Lyft. They said they're going to contact the passenger. The passenger never got back to me, so I'm going to try to stick Lyft with the bill. Hopefully, they help out. Um, but yeah, so luckily I got my GMC so I can, I can drive this. I drove today. Uh, I woke up a little later than I wanted to, but I was, I think I was tired from being stressed out from losing my key fob, but luckily I can still earn money even though my, my infinity is currently out of commission. So, all right guys, that's all I got for this one. I want to thank y'all for watching. Everyone, please stay safe, stay driven, stay classy. Let me know if you want to take part in the, uh, in the fitness challenge, 300 pushups every single day. I think it'll be fun. So yeah. Bye, guys.